What's up guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay, and today we're gonna talk about ibuprofen toxicity in dogs. And if your dog ate ibuprofen or Advil, which is what I'm gonna focus on in this video, please go to my description and I put a timestamp there for you to click on, which will take you right to a chart that I made that will show you how many tablets your dog needed to eat for their weight that can cause a severe toxic effect. Anyways, if your dog just ingested Advil or any ibuprofen, take them to the vet right away. So most of the time, ibuprofen capsules or tablets have a sugar coat around them, which makes them tasty for dogs to eat, and they eat more than one. And the milligram that most ibuprofen and Advil comes in is 200 milligrams, which already starts out at a lot of milligrams for your dog. So if you have a small dog, ingesting one tablet is gonna be very toxic to them. Larger breed dogs can ingest more tablets, but in any scenario, bring them to your veterinarian right away after they eat these pills to get a detox procedure. All right guys, so I made this video today because I see a lot of appointments where pets come in in pain, limping or have trauma or some sort of wound, and they need an NSAID, which is an anti-inflammatory, to help them with their pain. These owners think that they can just go to CVS and pick up Advil and give it to their dog, and they have no idea that this is very toxic to their dogs and can kill their dogs. So veterinarians have their own NSAIDs, like Rimadyl, Carprofen, or Meloxicam for cats that we will prescribe for your pet. So don't give them Advil. All right guys, so what does ibuprofen toxicity actually do to the dog itself? So ibuprofen blocks the vasodilatory prostaglandins that leads to diminished blood flow to the kidneys, which eventually causes acute kidney failure. And that is what kills the dogs. So in mild doses, it causes GI or gastrointestinal effects, which leads to GI ulcers and intestinal bleeding. But the main thing you need to remember is that it causes acute kidney failure. And this is why those dogs die. All right guys, so before you panic, I wanna show you that chart that I formulated from the ASPCA.org website, which is gonna give you dosages for lower toxicities that cause GI signs, and then higher doses that shows you where it shuts down the kidneys, causing acute kidney failure. So here's the chart here, and I'll go through it briefly with you. So looking at this chart, in one study done by the ASPCA, with a dose of eight mg per kg per day for 30 days, they only saw some gastric ulcers and intestinal inflammation, which led to some vomiting. So if we look at this Maltese that weighs five pounds, which converts to 2.5 kilograms, that Maltese will need to eat 18 milligrams for 30 days in a row to see some vomiting. Um, and Maltese is very small, so they won't even be able to ingest that low of a dose because each pill is around 200 milligrams. So if a Maltese eats any Advil, they need to go straight to the veterinarian. But looking at a beagle, eating eight mix per cake per day, that means one capsule a day for 30 days to see some vomiting and the kidneys did not shut down. And then looking at the golden retriever, we see eight mix per cake per day for 30 days. That is 240 milligrams. Again, is one tablet a day, may only see some vomiting. However, it's so hard to gauge how many tablets your dog may have eaten. So in either case, bring your dog straight to the veterinarian. But now let's look at the dose that causes that acute kidney failure or shuts down the kidneys. So they found that that dose was around 175 milligrams per kg at one single ingestion caused the acute kidney failure. So in a Maltese, a single dose of 175 milligrams per kg, which would be 400 milligrams that they need to ingest, is two tablets of the 200 milligram tablets of ibuprofen or Advil. So that is only two little tablets and that Maltese could die from it. So you definitely need to bring them to the vet. Looking at the Beagle with that severe acute kidney failure dose, they need to eat 2,300 milligrams, which is 13 tablets. And if any of you own a Beagle, you'll know that that is probably pretty easy for that Beagle to ingest. 
Also looking at the golden retriever with 175 milligrams per kg per day, they need to eat 5,250 milligrams, which is 27 tablets to get that acute kidney failure. Doses that are lower than this can still cause kidney failure. So again, any case where your dog eats Advil or ibuprofen, Motrin, or um, Midol, bring them straight to the veterinarian to start a detox procedure. This is time-sensitive toxicosis in these dogs. So something I didn't put on the chart is that doses greater than 400 milligrams per kilogram will cause central nervous system signs of seizures, coma, and death. So what is the treatment for Advil toxicosis in dogs? So the first thing you're gonna do is rush to your veterinarian after you find out your dog has eaten some Advil and your veterinarian is gonna want blood work. And the first thing they're gonna to wanna to look at is, you got it, the kidney values. So they're gonna look at the BUN and the creatinine to see if the kidneys have taken on a toxic effect already. So once they have that, the next thing they're gonna to wanna to know is when the dog ate the Advil, because this is a time-sensitive toxicosis. If the dog ate it within two hours and they're not showing a lot of clinical signs, your veterinarian is gonna make your dog throw up, because we wanna throw up as much of the Advil as possible so it doesn't get absorbed by the GI tract to cause the toxic effect. Makes sense, right? The next thing they're gonna do is give them a decontamination which is gonna be activated charcoal. If your dog is already sick and it's past those two hour period, they're gonna do something like a gastric lavage and try to flush out any toxins that are still in there, or any Advil still in the stomach or the intestines. So if the dog is still very sick and showing signs of kidney failure, your veterinarian is also gonna to wanna to give them IV fluids. And this means hospitalizing your dog. So your dog may need to stay at that veterinary clinic overnight and can't come home with you and needs to be on IV fluids to help diurese their kidneys. And this is gonna lower those kidney values so that the toxic effects won't kill your dog. So that was a very basic overview of the treatment and decontamination of Advil toxicosis. If you wanna read about the exact procedures, please go to ASPCA.org. They have it all on that website of what they do to treat your dog that has ingested Advil. All right guys, so for those of you who made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something about Advil toxicity. I hope that your dogs are all okay out there if they may have ingested it and I hope that they're at the veterinarian right now on IV fluids and that you're letting your vet do the proper treatment for your dog. If you guys learned something, please share this video with your doggy friends so that they know how bad Advil toxicosis is for their dogs. And that hopefully your dog friends don't give it to their dogs if they're in pain or they're limping because they don't know about it. So sending them this video may save another dog's life. So like always, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post more videos.